I'm praying on behalf of every last one of you that is subscribed to this channel and the sound of my voice. If you are feeling weary in Jesus' name, may he give you strength. Where you're feeling discouraged, may he lift up your heart and your soul and give you joy. Lord, I pray a double portion, a double portion on your children, a double portion of the patience that they need right now, of the strength that they need right now. Lord, I pray that your children that are feeling faint, that they will sit at your feet and allow you to pour into them. I pray for every individual that are waiting for their marriages, that they will enjoy every moment with you at this time. A lot of you, or many of you, or some of you, are having Job experiences right now. Endure the test. The Lord has already given you victory. I pray that your heart posture is, is rooted in the goodness of God and the blessings that he has already bestowed upon you in Jesus name. That coworker that is picking on you and testing you, may they be silenced and not bother you anymore in Jesus name. In Jesus' name, any lie that you are enduring, any pressing, any heaviness that you're enduring right now, may God give you peace, a sound mind, power to speak against that thing that is trying to keep you in a place of heaviness. And, and to stop you from believing every word that flows out of the mouth of the Lord. May you go deeper with God in Jesus name, alleviating all distractions, every voice. Some of you are listening to too many prophetic voices and it's time to just shut it down and only listen to one voice. And that's God's voice. Because he can conf he can speak to you and tell you whatever he needs to tell you, whatever the Holy Spirit needs to pour into your soul, into your mind, he will do it. The Holy Spirit is the comforter. He's there to comfort you. If you need assurance, Romans eight one, excuse me, Romans eight two eight, all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord and that are called according to His purpose. Many of you are in transition and the transition is a bit messy, but don't look at your circumstances that are going on around you. Continue to keep your eyes on Jesus. Continue to keep your eyes on Jesus. Continue to remember his word, quote the scriptures, remember the promises. God has already promised that he was going to provide for you. Some of you are transitioning right into your assignments. And some of you are having Job experiences to where you're being tested. Don't give in. Don't cave in to, the, to what is going on around you. Because you already know that in the testing that you have to look to Jesus. You have to remember his word. You have to cling on to Jesus. Because we can't do anything without him in Jesus' name. This is my encouragement to your soul and to your spirit. If you need to, just lay up on your bed, commune with the Lord, and just listen. Be still and listen. Psalms 4, 4. Just commune with the Father. Lord, I pray that you give every individual in the sound of my voice peace in their souls and their hearts, joy, patience. A double portion of your love, Father. It is so important to hold on to every word that God speaks to you. It is so important to hold on to every word that comes out of the mouth of God. Every promise that he has spoken to your spirit. And every time 
He has spoken it. He has, he has shown you and he has confirmed this thing to you over and over and over again. Hold on. There's no need to let go. The Lord has already said it is done. It is done. Some of your transitions, like I said, do, are not pretty. They don't feel good. But God is right there. God is right there and it's temporary. It's temporary. Because it's elevation. It is God's form of elevation, just like Naaman when he had to dip in the muddy water seven times to be cured of his, his leprosy. It wasn't clear water. It was muddy water. Don't give up. Continue dipping. Naaman had to continue holding on. He had to keep dipping seven times and it was messy. But transition into restoration is not pretty. It's going to feel uncomfortable. An enemy is going to constantly try to get you to give up. Stop speaking to other people about the blessings that God has spoken to you that he was going to do for you because some of the people that you're speaking to don't have the faith. God didn't tell them those things. And so if they speak to you and, and they, and they are, um, doubting, then that's going to transfer unto you. And God wants you to stand firm in faith. Stand firm in faith. Transition is not comfortable for anyone that is walking this narrow road with the Lord. The Lord wants us to be strong and of a good courage. Keep praying. Pray without ceasing. Rejoice in hope. Romans 12, 12. Be encouraged. Let the Holy Spirit encourage you. Because this is not the end. This is just the beginning. This is not the end. This is just the beginning. And what we're learning in this moment, in this moment, is, is, is a huge, is, is something that is teaching us to become even stronger warriors in Christ. To totally depend on the salvation of the Lord, the mood, the hand that the deliverance of the Lord, a lot of you have powerful, powerful callings upon your life and you're going to get placed in high places in this world. So trust God because everything that is happening in your life is for God's glory. And it's a beautiful thing for the sufferings of this time cannot be compared to the glory that is getting ready to be revealed in you. Amen. You're a beautiful child of God, fearfully and wonderfully made. In Jesus' name, I pray right now, in Jesus' name, that you would uplift the weary soul, Father. The soul that is wavering, the soul that wants to give up. Father, just give them encouragement from your spirit, from your word. Dear Heavenly Father, quicken their spirits with joy, Father. You said, ask and we shall receive. And I'm asking on their behalf, on every subscriber on this channel, that wherever they are having a struggle or an issue or a doubt in the name of Jesus, that you would, oh, that you would touch them right now, that you would ease it in their spirit, that you would uplift their spirit, strengthen their spirits. Renew their faith, Father. Renew their minds, Father. And I pray that every individual will get before you and open their word and be still and, and listen to what you want to say in the word. Lead them and guide them to exactly what you want to tell them, Father, right now in your precious holy name. In Jesus' precious holy name, I speak against every lie right now that is coming against the children of God, that it is cast down right now. Any type of witchcraft, dear Heavenly Father, I destroy it. I command it to be destroyed right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, every lie being spoken must cease.
Every spirit of gossip, every monitoring spirit, it is destroyed right now. It is silenced and destroyed right now. I break it in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift up your children, Father. Lift up their spirits in the name of Jesus. Pour into them where they need strength right now in the name of Jesus. You are counting every tear, Father. Every tear. And you hear every prayer, Father. And you have answered. It is time to see the manifestation of the prayers that have been prayed in Jesus' name. Amen.